This game is rated T for teen, but the commentary? Well, that's a different story. Rated M for mature. Viewer discretion is advised. Don't say you haven't been warned. Welcome back, everyone, to Summer Max Beyond Time and Space Remastered, Episode 3. This is the final part. I know I said I mentioned something in the description of the last video, but I'm going to mention something else here now. I'm not going to include the Let's Play part to it, because, to be honest, I can't really put the name of the episode next to the part of it, like episode 3, The Night of the Raven Dead. So, yeah. But to let you know about that, let's get to it. Let me talk to Look, Max, it's our old co-star, Philo Pennyworth. Featherly! The name is Featherly! I thought you didn't like us calling you by your character name. Are you method acting or something? Hardly. I've legally changed my name to Mr. Featherly. Philo Featherly? No, Mr. Featherly. It simplifies the licensing contracts considerably. <laughs> what happened to your love of the theater? Hmm, let me see. I could play Torvald in a doll's house two shows a night for an entire year! And still not make as many euros as I get from licensing a single poster of my beak. Not my face, just the beak. Oh, Jesus. I don't even know if the fucking le left headphone with my microphone on is even straight. Uh, excuse me, even straight. Screw it. Did you know you're really popular in Germany? Did I know? It changed my life! That ill-conceived dalliance in prismatology left me penniless! You should have thought about a nest egg! When I was poor, I would have taken offense at that. Now I say ha! 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 Do you have any crazy fans? A Miss Greta Grunwald of Cologne. She insists on sending me scandalous photos of herself with messages about how she enjoys dark meat. Ugh. Oh, Greta! Oh, she keeps sending me messages about Hassenpfeffer. With your new popularity, do you need some freelance bodyguards? No. If Ms. Pandemic rejects my application to be her suitor, I may need to call on Miss Grunwald. A wise actor must adapt and adjust. Are you ready for a new season of Midtown Cowboys? I've been ready for several months, but the director insisted that you two appear. For some unfathomable reason, didn't you receive her phone calls? Well, we have been busy. Becoming president, saving the world, deleting random messages from the answering machine. What's the secret to a great performance? The true art of theater is all about improvisation. Uh, an oral surgeon from Houston during the French Revolution. Well now, missy. Looks to me like what y'all got is an impacted molar. Damn you, Robespierre! And scene. Do you understand? A great actor must be ever prepared for any eventuality. Do you have any more acting tips for us? It's hardly complicated. Just follow my lead and don't touch anything. Sounds like Sam's prom night. Break a leg. Or worse! <laughs> Wait, can I actually store... Gilroyal's brand garlic clove cigarettes. Can I store... Yeah, I can. It's a bottle of Old Gutsmack brand malt liquor. What's going on here exactly? Nothing special, just the biggest episode of Germany's top-rated television show, that's all. Schnitzel time mit Regis und Katharina Lee? Not anymore. Didn't you get my phone messages? Midtown Cowboys is a surprise hit in Germany! How do we get in on all this licensing money? You don't. You signed away all your rights to your image when you filmed the Chef Bessie episode. I don't remember signing anything. So that's what all that fine print said. Besides, I don't see you two as TV stars. Start smaller, like with comic books or video games. Seriously, Max? What's the episode about? It's the climactic Mr. Featherly's Intervention episode! 
Sounds hilarious. This is no laughing matter. This is quite possibly the most important episode of television ever made. It's good to see the television industry tackling important social issues like addiction. Right. Social issues. Whatever. I'm talking about product placement. This is going to be pure gold. <laughs> What's our motivation? Your motivation is to not get fired. Just read your lines from the cue cards, keep away from the props, and follow Featherly's lead. He's the one who's selling the t-shirts and soundtrack CDs. What happened to all the other shows in this studio? I want to go on cooking without looking again. They've all been cancelled. The entire studio is devoted to Midtown Cowboys and its spin-offs now. That's a goddamn shame. There are spin-offs of Midtown Cowboys? Naturally, Downtown Cowgirls, That's So Bessie, Midtown Cowboys Special Heifers Unit, and of course the sensitive and heartbreaking Midtown Shepherds. I wish I knew how to quit watching that. We're ready to start filming. It's about time! All right, people, places, everyone. Let's make some money. Art. Let's make some art. Tonight, right. a very special episode of Midtown Cowboys. Can't we just ignore the problem and hope it will go away? Mr. Featherly needs our help, pal. Oh, there he is now. I must have left my bag in here. <gasps> I knew it. I knew you were hiding a cow. That's right, Mr. Featherly. We have been hiding a cow. But you've been hiding something much worse. What? I don't know what you're talking about. For the love of God, Mr. Featherly, stop with the lies. Just look what you're doing to Bessie. We saw what's inside your bag. How do you explain this? Gil Royal's brand garlic clove cigarettes? Admit you have a problem. Uh, all right, I admit it. I am addicted. But how could anyone resist a lung full of garlic flavored smoke? <laughs> they taste good, man, they're good for you. What a heart smart smoking choice. And they make you look so cool. Let's buy some. <laughs> wow. Sounds like Bessie wants her own pack of Gil Royal's brand garlic clove cigarettes. <laughs> and that's a wrap! See that, boys? That is acting. Okay, what the hell do I... <sighs> Christ. I hate this part. Oops. Ah, oh, Christ, I kind of forgot I had this on fucking volume. Um, hopefully this, I think I may give it a bit of a break after the time. Go back. Um, okay, do I still have the cigarettes in my... Nope, I need to get the cigarettes first. Are we leaving already? Let's go to Stuttgart. <laughs> I think that ante super antenna is a lightning rod. Wow, the cops actually installed something well for once. I won't be able to just pull it off. The why. Whee! Mm -mm -mm. Holy! Can you actually be allowed inside with these cigarettes, or do you have to dispose? Sorry, sir. You'll have to leave any hazardous items outside. Garlic clove cigarettes, not allowed. Holy water, taboo. You'll have to throw them away.
Did he actually throw them away? Uh, oh shit. I don't know if he... I'm not even sure if he... Oh crap. Wait. There's a pack of garlic clo- We're not leaving, are we? Let's go to the WARP studios. Oh boy! Do I seriously- I don't know if swapping it... Maybe I've got to keep a hold of that malt vinegar. Malt liquor, sorry. Are we Let's go to Stuttgart. Oh, Jesus. I really wish I don't have to keep looking on YouTube for this shit. Even though I'm recording for it, I'm looking on the fucking page. Wait. Does Max still have his, uh... Okay, so have Max drink that and then dump it in. Come on, Max. Mm -mm -mm. Holy! Now to dump it in the trash can. Now go through. Mmm, yeah, zombie guys. I'm so down with the smoking, yo. <coughs> Smooth. <coughs> Not so cool now, are you, Master Jurgen? It is but a minor setback. My zombies still know who is the master of style, am I right? Yeah. <coughs> what do I have to do here? Go outside, we drink. Use the holy water on Max. What happened? I feel the original sin again! The holy water wore off. Did you make a no-no while I wasn't looking? <laughs> no, honest, Sam! It just wore off! Oh, crap. I think I've got to skip the whole part of it. Right. There's a bottle of holy water in here. Okay, give this to Max. Quickly skip through that and then challenge it. Mm -mm -mm. Holy! Ditch it in the trash, come on. TikTok, get a move on, Nick. I know I keep making them. What's the first. <gasps> hey, Jorgen. Meow. Max and I want to challenge you again. You know me. I'm Count Cryptwind Deathgrasp. And I'm Baron Bat Anguish Von Nightmare. So just say skip it to Jurin. And you've already heard our melancholy rhymes. So we're not going to repeat them. You know you love us. <laughs> 
Und still, you cannot win. Cut that out. I hope you got something in mind here, Sam. I'm getting kind of woozy. <laughs> Drag me to hell with scarred arms. Uh oh, pain down below. Very soon, need release. <laughs> Excuse a moment. Did I really want to know that? No! <laughs> Can't hold your holy water, Jurgen. You dare defile my. Oh, wait, hold on. <laughs> Twice in a row. That was gruesome! No. <laughs> Who's the master now, Master Jorgen? Your attempts to discredit me will not work. My Z-Boys still got my back. No. I don't know if I'll have to cut this into a four-part, because it does actually say that this episode... Uh, from what I'm looking at, the episode that this person was doing that I'm looking for hints on shows that it's it's doing uh, two hours and 23 minutes. Okay, so press that button. Left. Far, second left, far end. Then that. Wait, did he spin the turntable? Okay, spin the turntable, then that, that. Okay. And my latest dance is called The Inconsolable Nephilim. Check it! <laughs> ah! Oh, 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 it burns! <laughs> Alrighty! It's okay, no problem, we're still cool. <clears throat> oh, that is the very last of the straws! I don't care. <laughs> I did not become the Prince of Darkness just to make the friends, you know? I will destroy you, Sam and Max! Even without the stupid zombies! Who needs them anyway? <laughs> Zombie pile on you again! <laughs> oh. Save some of the entrails for me, guys! We're not through yet, pal. After him! Huh, so that's what the fireplace is for. No logs, no fire, uh, no logs, no coal, no fire, and no chimney. I don't care if those dumb zombies like me anyway. They're so stupid. Stand back, foul creature. We come to cast you back into the unholy pit from whence you were spawned. What he said? Oh, heard it. I should have disposed of you irritants long ago. Now, <laughs> your two souls will fulfill my unholy contract, and I will make the entire Earth my non-stop house party of evil! And then there was the most epic battle of our entire career. Yeah, yeah, I remember the rest. So, what do we do now? Auf Wiedersehen, Sham und Max! <laughs> Gee, I got so wrapped up in the story, I forgot to think of a plan. We could make... What the fucking hell? You are dead. Similar to the Walking Dead kind of logo. Well, that was unpleasant. What the hell? That jerk zombies? Jorgen got my suit all dirty. I'd like to give him a piece of my mind. Or take a piece of his! Mmm, jerk Jorgen. That does sound tasty. We, suffering serpent and the rainbow, Max, we've turned to zombies! Why are we standing like this, Sam? Oh, I thought you knew. <laughs> that was obviously a Zombie Lincoln. Christ. Okay, what do I do from here? Since, obviously, of dealing with this crap. Hmm.
I wonder what this Abe Lincoln sounds like. <laughs> it's actually kind of good that they... So you can get back inside. Okay, so... Screw it, I'm gonna make this a long episode. Oops. No, I want to speak to Zombie Link. Zombie Abraham Lincoln? What are you doing here? I... I don't know. This doesn't look like the theater. Something different about you. Hmm. You're not wearing your hat! And he's got a body, and he's not 20 feet tall, and he's just come out of a grave. This isn't our Lincoln, little buddy. I know you. I would go through all of it, but I'm kind of running on a timer, so... yeah. How did you end up in Germany? Germany? I've never been. Apart from my family's cemetery plot just outside Stuttgart, I have absolutely no ties to Germany whatsoever. How are you enjoying the play? Oh, it's ripping. But I was disappointed that Booth fellow wasn't in it. I hear he's quite the actor, and I was hoping to see him. Thank you, Zombie Abraham Lincoln, for helping us teach kids more about irony! You might not be able to catch the rest of that play, Mr. Lincoln. Wanna know how it ends? No, no, don't tell me. Spoilers. You get shot and turn into one of the Walking Dead. Well, that sounds horrible. I don't know why I let Mary keep dragging me to these things. <laughs> Watch your back. What? Why? So, the same voice. We have the zombies. We're zombies. I know! I want to live, Max. I want to live. You probably should have thought of that when we were stuck in the killing machine. <laughs> We've got to get our souls back, Max. We've got too much left to live for. How can I breathe invasively in a perp space when I don't even breathe? It's one of the little things you don't miss until they're gone. As a zombie, do you find it difficult to talk sensibly so that people understand you? It's me, Sam. Right. Stupid question. Look alive, Max. That's mean, Sam. <laughs> Let's see if I can even talk to the zombie. What's going on here? Oh, you're the Americans, right? Thanks for the brain, guy. Hey, Max. We can understand the zombies now. Mm, it was as good as my Nana's homemade Kimmelspanner schnitzen. I think understand is a bit extreme, Sam. You enjoyed the brain we gave you? Oh, yeah, it was delicious. He must have been really smart. Jorgen put us in some big machine, and then we ended up here. Oh, yeah, guy. You're totally dead now, okay? But we're the freelance police. We can't die. I know, hey. None of us can. It's extremely excellent. Sorry we don't have any more brains to give you. No problem, eh? The gang went down to the village to get some more. From now on, we only eat them from high up gargoyles, like American style. <laughs> How do we get back to normal? We're not cut out to be zombies. Yet another of my life's ambitions down the crapper. Yeah, I could tell. You shamba like you've still got your souls. What do you mean we act like we've got soul? No offense, guy. Lots of zombie kids think it's cool to act like alive these days. We call them zombies, but it's cool, hey? How do we get our souls back? Don't know. They say Jürgen does something with them, but I've never been in the VIP lounge. 
We've got to overthrow Jorgen and get our souls back. Overthrow the hey what? No way, boy! The zombie factory's where it's at, friend. Don't you want revenge on Jorgen for turning you into a zombie? Oh, I was already a zombie, silly guy. My company makes experimental new drugs until something goes horribly awry. Drugs to create a race of super soldiers? Male enhancement. Well, if it's all the same to you, pal, we're still taking down Jorgen. Oh, okay. Save me the wishbone, eh? So long. Catching you later on the flip side, zombie brother. That is just weird hearing the zombie talk. What happened? Where are we? Jorgen tried to kill us. <laughs> Sorry, sir. Mr. President, I can't understand you. Never learned to speak, zombie. Would have been useful, in retrospect. <laughs> no, sir. The zombie factory does not have free wireless internet access. <laughs> that depends, sir. In terms of geographic area or population density. <laughs> About 11.25, sir. We're open till 3 a.m. <laughs> yes, sir. It is warm for this time of year. <laughs> I don't agree, sir. The advantages of a common currency like the Euro outweigh any nationalist concerns. <laughs> yes, sir. That's very funny. I hadn't heard that one before. <laughs> Good night, sir. It's weird that he can't understand them, but Sam and Max can understand the zombies. Where was I sitting? What do I do here? Do I talk to Zombie Lincoln again, or do I do something else? Hmm. Come on, there's gotta be... S Oh, Flint. And then we wandered around the zombie factory, looking for things to do. We're not in flashback anymore, Sam. Oh, right. I wish we had our souls back. It's funny, Sam. I like just about everything about being a zombie, except for the constant itchiness. You noticed that, too? Go figure. This place isn't any cooler as zombies. Maybe we have to die again and become European to really appreciate it. Feel like dancing, little buddy? Not until 3 a.m., when they break out the foam and the red striped hats. <laughs> you too! Doesn't he smash completely through it? Hmm. I fucking hate doing this. So you just talk to one of the zombies. Yay! Flint paper! Excuse me. Eat bullets, chumps! Hey! Ow! Yow! I guess you have to be a zombie to appreciate how good Flint is at killing him. The man's <laughs> a consummate professional. Alright, which one of you undead creeps is gonna tell me where you got Sam and Max? Zombie Lincoln. He may have been our best president, but he's a total glass jaw against lone gunmen. Oops, Zombie Lincoln's brain. It's what's left of Zombie Abraham Lincoln's brain. Eat hot lead, Walking Dead! Ah, oh, shit, I can't... I can't touch that until I can get Flint paper out of the way. There's got to be a way to lure.
move, so... I would talk to the zombies, but I need to get this done. I can't be fucking doing this again. <laughs> oh, great. They're back. Keep quiet and stand still. Maybe they won't notice us. Hey, look, Max. It's vaguely ethereal versions of ourselves. Are they ghosts? No, probably just those soul things we keep hearing about. Well, what do you know? I do have one! Come to Papa! Yeah, I don't think so. Right. You guys run along and play. We'll be over here until our ride comes. Vampires, zombies, and now a monster created from spare body parts. I was kinda hoping you'd turn into a werewolf. Full moon's not for a few days, Max. There's still time. Vampire, I would- Full moon's- Oh, Christ. We've got to get our- I don't know. I'm enjoying being- Right back at you, Sam! What the hell do I do? I hate doing this, but then again, I've got to get these done because I'm sick of just... Wait. An alchemy book. Where's that book? Alchemy for beginners. Jorgen made it up to chapter 14, turning chocolate to gold. Oh, but build me a machine that turns gold nuggets to chicken nuggets, and we shall have power unlimited! Jorgen must be sleeping off his humiliation at the zombie club. Let's chop off his head, then set him on fire, then go for ice cream! We can't hurt him while we're still zombies, Max. Now let's put his <laughs> hand in warm water. <laughs> okay, so what exactly do I need to do? Speak with them? Okay, so fun's I... fun, but get back in here. I'm already tired of being a zombie. Well, perhaps you should have thought of that before you treated me so abominably. Maybe now we'll get the appreciation we deserve. That paint is just fucking that portrait is just fucking creepy as hell. I never suspected our souls were so obnoxious. I've been telling you for years we shouldn't listen to them. Yeah. Right back at you, Sam! Am I the only one that thinks Sam and Max look cool as zombies? Looks like a trophy case from all the vampire hunters who've tried to defeat Jordan. How do you like your steak, Max? Pointy! I hate doing this crap over and over again. Something near that machine. Alchemy. Okay, let's just make this quick. Um, blah, 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 blah. How much part of it do I need to do? Because, Jesus Christ. Wait, uh. I don't know if that's a trophy or some shit. Let's take care of this crap. Looks like a delicate piece of high-precision medical equipment. Never die batteries. They're dead. I bet my lifetime subscription to the 40 and Times that that's an alchemy machine. And it is, Sam. 
Ah, nuts. The batteries are dead. Do I actually... Screw it, I'm going power switch. Bringing life to this decaying lump of flesh, we mock death! We become as gods, rewriting the very laws of the universe! It lives! Our creation lives! Happy <laughs> birthday! He's almost a birthday? These guys I'm gonna have to be dealing with later on in episode 5, I think. Ole! Well. Kinda suck the horror right out of it, huh? I hate doing this crap. Jesus Christ. Speak with him. Okay, fix. Just talk to him and fix him back together. Hi, gruesome. You're not Master Jurgen. Who are you? We're from the General Wheat Cereal Conglomerate, and we think you'd be perfect as our new mascot. Would you describe yourself more as Chocolicious or Fruitacular? Well, I suppose I'm somewhat Brantastic. We're just kidding. We're your creators. Master Jurgen is my creator. Well, we pulled the switch. Yes, and I wish you hadn't. The sleep of unlife was preferable to the bitter pang of loneliness. Why so glum, chum? Do you have any idea what it's like being a misshapen freak? The only one of your kind? Nope! Uh-uh. It sucks. No one to confide in. No one to love. Mm, no one to smack you and tell you to get over yourself already? What's your job around here? Do you kill stuff, or are you mostly decorative? Master Jurgen created me to prove his ultimate victory over life and death. Never thinking that he'd have to feed you and walk you every day. Typical. Hey, monster, what's the Italian word for an appetizer? Antipofto. What's so bad about being a monster? Master Jurgen only built one. I am alone. You've got us! Please kill me. <laughs> You're saying please kill me when you wanted to be, be when he fucking built you up. You're in luck, buddy. We've got the perfect bride for you. Master Jurgen promised the same thing long ago. But ours is ready to go, right out of the box! No assembly required! Sounds... intriguing. <laughs> Let's go introduce you to our friend Sybil. I can't go like this. What woman could be attracted to someone as incomplete as I am? Yeah, trust us, Sybil's used to guys who aren't all there. All the same, I must be fully assembled before I go. And I thought you took forever to get ready, Sam. Yeah. Farewell. What exactly is the body part that's needed to use? Uh, stone in the chest. So just a stone in the chest and that hand, right? Wanna play Dr. Max? For the last time, Sam, no! Oh, with the monster. Oh, sure. <laughs> I'm wondering if Sam's ever asked him that. 
Can we hurry this up, guys? I've got a dozen foreclosures to get caught up on today, and that's just the orphanages. <laughs> See if that works. Okay, so just send him that way. Hmm. Is it fucking point of all that crap or screw it, I'm gonna Let's go introduce you to our friend Sybil. I can't go like this. What? Yeah, trust us. Sybil. All the same, I must. Oh, come on. Yeah. Farewell. Oh, come the fuck on. <sighs> come on. What did I miss? Come on. Fucking show me. I'm not dealing with this crap again. Wait. Oh, <laughs> that's what was missing. Oops. Just. Hi, gruesome. Is he now? Let's go. It's a frightfully long drive, isn't it? Are you sure you want to go now? Yes. Let's go right now. Quickly, before Sam gets distracted and. Oh, more switches! Well, oh, I never travel without my belongings. Just throw them in the trunk already. We're wasting daylight. Thanks for coming, gentlemen. I know it's difficult for you to travel, having to carry all your stuff with you. I'm used to it. Well, until I figure out how the Soul Mater works, I'm going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. I'll ask each of you three lucky bachelors a series of questions. Based on your answers, I'll decide which one of you advances to the final round of being my boyfriend. Ah, zombies! I knew it! They've come for the knickknacks! Harry, please. I'll have to ask you to leave if you don't learn to show some tolerance. They're going to break everything! And eat my brain! Nonsense! Sam and Max have just as much right to be here as anyone alive. Hmm, which question should I ask first? What exactly do I do here? Christ. Oh, Christ. The soul made her. Point to the sign. Yeah. I know, Sam. I'll use it once I've narrowed it down to one finalist. Don't touch that sign! <laughs> okay, the sign... Jesus Christ, I hate doing this. Look at the tattoo design. Tiki. Tattoos, tiki, and then think positive. No! No! Not the priceless tiki head! Think positive. I already tried that. Try, think again for the very first time. Okay, now what the hell do I do? Okay. 
Okay, so the heart... The heart, then feather. No! I please! I need that! Nah, I can't understand you, my good man! Diction! Diction! I still love the fucking... Smashing of whatever the hell that is. So, obviously... Speak with him. Okay, this should be good. The heart one. How do you think you're doing? It's difficult to say. I thought a hideous, misshapen creature such as myself would have no chance with a normal woman. But that was before I saw the competition. What do you think of Sybil? She does have a capricious spirit I find most enchanting. Okay, here's a tip. Don't say stuff like that during the interview. You're going to have to liven things up a bit to impress Sybil. I'm just the way Master Jürgen made me. Anything we can do to help? Remember, we're not too proud to cheat! No, no. She'll be impressed once she gets to know the real me. Good plan! Sam, you grab the chicken, and I'll start getting the other one involved in some kind of tabloid scandal. <coughs> Follow your heart. Easy for you to say. I still can't decide. Which question should I ask? Good idea, Sam. I'll ask this one. Bachelor number one. My last boyfriend was a real jerk. I'm looking for a man who's kind, upstanding, good to everyone, and never cruel. Prove to me you've got a heart of gold. Yeah, sweetheart. Are we going to have many more of these questions? You're not the only <laughs> chick in town, you know. I see. Bachelor number two. Same question. I am, as you know, the go-to performer for troubled characters with a heart of gold. Landlords, lawmen, gangsters, nuns, hookers, and pimps, I've played them all. Big phony. Got it. Bachelor number three. Same question. Prove to me you've got a heart of gold. <laughs> oh, I've clearly won this one. I'm kind, compassionate, and wouldn't hurt a fly. Hmm. Weren't you the Don of the Toy Mafia that put a hit out on me? Well, yes. But there were extenuating circumstances. I was hypnotized, and I felt bad afterwards. I see. Don't believe the bullshit that comes out of his mouth, Sybil. He wanted you dead. Switch the brain out. Okay, I'll switch his. <laughs> I can't believe I'm using a clock in his head. Bad talking bunny. That clock must be a little slow. <laughs> right. You think I should ask question two? Okay. Bachelor number one. I'm looking for a guy who's good with his hands. Unlike my last boyfriend. How would you show me you're good with your hands? 
I use them to cheer on the best team in history! Go Packers! And Bachelor number two? I'm at something of a disadvantage, having no hands as such, but I assure you I am quite dexterous. I've performed the lead roles in both Amadeus and Ray, to universal acclaim throughout the eastern seaboard. No hands. Got it. Bachelor number three, your answer? How would you show me you're good with your hands? Well, of course, I don't like to brag, but more than a few Lady Mole people have remarked that I am quite good at burrowing, if you catch my drift. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> I wonder what Max even said. Sybil's place just isn't the same when you're a zombie. Yeah, annoying and terrifying your neighbors is only fun when there's a challenge to it. Who's your favorite of the eligible bachelors? Oh, Sam, that's like asking me to choose my favorite horribly vivid nightmare. I hope our monster wins the dating game. Me too. If only to see Sybil with Bride of Frankenstein hair. <laughs> Bride of Frankenstein hair, that would look good. <laughs> Okay, so question two is out of the way. Wait, what's with the skip and park? <laughs> You'll have to wait in the trunk. Okay, so just go out of. Wait, he didn't ask question three, right? Then again, Jesse James's hand is what's needed. Oh, screw it. Don't leave without me. I get home thick. Relax. If we go back to Stuttgart, we'll give you a ride. But you have to wait in the trunk. Christ, I can't believe I'm actually doing one that's a fucking hour long. Come back here, you stupid hand! Shoot! Whee! Hey, punk, you just can't come into our office and take what doesn't belong to you. Oh, that is like the black pot calling names at the kettle, which is also black. It's different when we do it. We're professionals. Do I actually go inside, Stinky's? Let me just follow the... <laughs> Make me. Okay, so just go inside Stinky's Diner. Help! Someone help! Concern it, he's too fast. What exactly do I do here? Okay, that doesn't look like there's much more left of this. This may turn into a bit of a really long episode, but next time I'll cut it to four parts. Go away with the adverts. Now I can focus. Right, let's see.
Is there something behind him? Wait. Don't just groan and point. Do something! I've got to get him back help! up. Help! Someone, help! Keep going, you little shit. <laughs> Close. I'm gonna try this shit one more time. I'm gonna fucking gun you down, you little shite bag. Gotcha, you, you little fuck. You saved me, Zombie Sam and Zombie Max, my heroes. Torn't nothing, ma'am. What? Oh, never mind. I'll take that, Mr. James. Okay, there's that. Jesus, this may turn. Come on. Um, blah, blah, blah. Wait. Those cutters are. Oh. <laughs> I was carrying those fucking bolt cutters, but I didn't even use them. Oops. Cut that lightning rod off. Cut that super antenna off with this. Look away, Max. This is the kind of vandalism that turns your stomach. Nonsense! I embrace all kinds of vandalism! Save this for later. Okay. What the hell did he even skip through of that? Listen, brothers. Can you not hear? I swear to God, if this doesn't work, I'm gonna go fucking nuts. Yeah. Just do this a few million more times, and I'm guaranteed re-election. <laughs> Let's uh, try this. You know what? Screw it. I may as well cut it here for now. Ugh. This is becoming a bit stressful. I wanted to do it in three parts, but unfortunately, that's just not the case. So yeah, I'll continue with the next part. I'll see you guys next time. This is Nick, signing off.